Okay, so this is the episode 2, I guess, or second video of the series where I'll be making chess pieces. So I'm gonna make the bishop one today. Okay, this one has all of the chess pieces, right? So we're just gonna save this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is delete everything. I'm gonna change my view to the minus y axis, and then I'm gonna be adding in the reference image. Okay, so here we have uh, like a good scale, right? So now I'm gonna push it back a little bit and we're gonna work on actually creating the mesh. So I'm gonna start off with a circle face. Okay, I'm gonna press F to add a face. So we've got a face now. And then we're gonna actually start making it. So before I forget, I'm gonna add a modifier, subdivision modifier, and then I'm gonna make it three and both. Okay, so now that we have this weird shape, and then we'll actually add in loop cuts. Okay, so now that we have this shape done, we're going to actually make the slit. And for the slit, we're going to get a cube, scale it down, push it up, and we're going to actually align it with the shape. To create that little curved effect, we're going to actually be bevel it. So control B. So we're going to select the top and the bottom. There you go. Okay, so that's fine. So that's exactly the shape we want. So then we will extend so it covers the entire thing. And then we're going to use the Boolean modif modifier. So Boolean, select the cube, and then press apply. But I know it's sort of messed up our mesh. To solve that problem, we're going to actually add loads of loop cuts, right? Right over here. So we'll just add in loads of them. Get out of edit mode and we can see that it works perfectly fine. So now that we've imported our materials, we're going to go into the shading tab. So we're going to make one of them black and the other one white. So this is done. Um, the last thing I will do is just create a small animation. We'll put in a empty cube and we're going to parent the camera to it. Let's control P. Now the cube is going to be keyframed, so we're going to get the rotation, should the full rotation, no, maybe 180 degrees, okay, and then we'll add in the new keyframe. Now for this, we're going to actually, we want them to be moving at the same time, so what we're going to actually do is make another empty, and we'll parent both of them to the object. Now what we're going to do, the same thing, keyframe it, rotation. Okay, so for this, we're going to actually rotate it minus 180. Right, so it's the opposite direction and we'll rotate it or we'll add in the keyframe. So you add in, let's say, a keyframe at 25 and then you push it back to 50. You add in one over here at 20 and you push it back to, let's say, 30. You keep doing that. And then, so if you look at the, the view, it'll speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down, all of this. Right, just a little bit of randomness and then it'll move back. 